Can you hear me? Feedback from the audience, please. Yay. You can hear me. Hi, Gav. Hi, everybody. Me, I can hear. Just grab over here real quick. Yeah, I know. I've been gone a long time. And it's not entirely my fault. It's somewhat my fault. Like, so Joe was here the last month. And it seems like every Wednesday when I was going to stream, I was feeling like kind of poopy. And I'm like, no, like maybe I'll do it tomorrow. And then other stuff happened. Chase, my oldest, broke his leg at the, um, at the end of May. Or wait, wait, when did he break his leg? It was after my birthday. When did he break my leg? Two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I look at my calendar now. Yeah, just follow up. 20, 24th. After my birthday. Anyway, he broke his leg. After my birthday. And we ended up spending three days in the hospital. And he had to get the surgery and got three screws pinned in. I guess what happened was his uh, friend, who is, happens to be a very big kid. My son, by the way, is 13 years old. He just turned 13 at the beginning of the month, of uh, June, beginning, a month ago. Today's the 8th. And his friend who lives across the street is like a year and a half older than him, but he's a big kid. He's like 250, I swear. He weighs like 250 pounds. You know, big, big kid. And, uh, chased after him and tackled him on the ground and I guess his foot got stuck in something so he went went way and his foot stayed in the same position so uh, that was that was fun and he did break his arm earlier this year that was his brother's fault his brother who's eight he's also got a little bit of weight on him but they were wrestling and he like leaped off the top of the bunk or something right on his arm so that happened in March and he was happy to get that cast off this is much worse though <clears throat> at least he'll get his a boot. He's gonna get a walking boot in two weeks, so he'll actually be more mobile. But it's been so hot, and we haven't been able to use the pool because he's got a cast on. So hmm. exciting stuff. So did everyone leave. Did Kelda leave? Is Yana still here? up fast. He's been just laying on the couch for the last two weeks, playing on my laptop, Roblox. I tried to get him to get an IMVU and do stuff, but he don't want to. Maybe he'll be back for uh, the um, small business Saturday. But I know you're having the, the J July, Christmas in July thing on the 11th. Is that correct? Maybe I can convince them to do that, because, I mean, that's a, be an event. So, a couple things I want to talk about. One, new tears. I'll, I'll try to come for part of it, like I said. I've, I've had, okay, another thing, I've had the kids solid, solid, solid for like this entire, since March, because of all the COVID stuff, and their dad had to go to Maryland for work, so like, I haven't had any me time, if you know what I mean. So I've been I got feed them, all, whatever you know what I mean. But we got lots of a lot of stuff going on. <clears throat> but anyway, new tears. I want to talk about the new tears. Um, what are your thoughts on the new tears, Gaff? I'm curious on your thoughts. I mean, obviously I've lost pro. I'm not like a solid, hardcore developer. Like I never have been. I've always been squeeze it in. I've always been able to squeeze it in when I can, but I'm not like, I haven't been able to, I don't like throw out hundreds 
of products a year. I throw out maybe 20 to 30 a year products because that's all I can really fit in. Because I got, you know, I got another job, I got the kids, I got just life in general. If, it, if I view as my only job, then yeah, I'd probably uh, make pro again, but that and I don't use the stream as off, or you know, the, the feed as much as I should. I kind of try to start using it again because I see it counts towards points, but I barely use Facebook. I mean, I go in spurts where I use Facebook somewhat and then I don't. Um. <laughs> You're way more active than I am, Gaff. Way more active. But yeah. I think uh, winter time. Winter time is my, usually my uh, most productive time. Just because, well, the kids are in school and I got more free time, but summer. Summer is just, uh, whatever happens, happens, you know, I'm in the wind. So I must say that when the COVID thing hit, my sales did go up and I think that has a lot to do with uh, people being more home to do stuff. Keep COVID. <laughs> yes, it does force, it does force, uh, um, creators to be more active, that's for sure. Um, I don't know, I mean, uh, the Pro is just a tag, but it does give you some perks, like like cheaper. Um, yeah, see, I made more, I had more sales, but they're starting to taper off again, so. And I know they, they, must, they changed the algorithms a little bit, so uh, certain products are becoming more visible, while other products are uh, not. So like with example of Joe, he um, has a system that he found out that works really well for him and since they changed the algorithm his sales have tanked. So and he's, I mean he's starting to hurt it but he's starting to feel it. So I mean he's either got to figure out the new system or he's got to move on. I mean that's that's those are his options. I mean, he was never really a... Yeah, right? <laughs> but, I mean, he was... I mean, he's not... He's not a... Joe's good um, qualities, like, when it comes to I view and anything in general, is he is good at marketing. Like, that is... What he's good at, he will take product and he'll make it more visible by basically by by resubmitting or whatever. But it becomes more visible, it gets more sales. Every single derive is a sale in general. So, like I don't mind if he takes any of my stuff and then resells it, just because it's it just makes stuff more visible and you make more sales that way. Some people have a problem with it, and I understand that they're really trying to hammer down on the zero k derive people. Because a lot of people, a lot of the, a lot of the artists hate the zero K derive people. They hate them, but they don't. They don't see the advantage of the zero. The, the zero K. They don't. They don't see the advantages of the zero derive people. Like it's just your product going the catalog again and becomes visible to more people. You know, but it really definitely hurt the the zero the zero drivers. And obviously in this industry, it's all about pride. Pride in your work. For, you know, and this is like, I remember when I first started doing IMVU, I was against setting my stuff to derivable. Against it, because like, this is my product. Like, I put a lot of hard work into this. Nobody else is gonna take credit for this product. And then as I went along and I decided decide to make a few things derivable it wasn't a it wasn't just about the pride of my work it was about you know the dollar signs coming because this is a business we're trying to make money here so when I made this stuff derivable my sales went up a lot you know like my product became more visible because of it so 
this is like this is this is why I have zero issues with zero K now zero K drivers. Now what I do have an issue with is people who steal your product and then still take your thumbnail. Or even stealing in general. Like they take they 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 take your, your mesh or your animation, they steal it. They don't even derive from you and then they steal your thumb and and completely bypassing you. That Yes, it's true. Uh, a better icon, better icons do make the product change. Like better, better ways to to yeah, the icon jackers. Better ways to to label the product. Like the, I like sometimes I have no idea what to name something. Like a good example is hairs and and heads. Like they they name them after people or you know people names. See, Liana, that's a pride thing again. That's another pride thing. Like, okay, so when 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 the the general shopper is in the catalog looking at stuff, they may not even care about who made what. They just see a product and just buy it. Like they think maybe I and you, like especially if they're new, they think I and you made everything possibly. I don't know, but um then you get people who are, who are seasoned veterans or the people who become very passionate about this then they may start to follow certain certain designers so and then and that's when like the following the chain comes important but i'm sure those i don't know like there's there's lots of different aspects to this so like i have had very i've had i've had one product that i can think of that made the first page and it wasn't mine it was a derive so, like, this person, this wasn't a 0k derive, though, this was a regular derive. I've had a few 0k derives made it pretty high up, but... Yeah, huh. Where they found out that the product was derived off another product. Well, I don't know, like, I guess... That's that's on them though. Like I, I guess you're thinking, you go to, yeah, it is a toss up. Like you go to Walmart and you buy a, a T-shirt. You know someone else made the T-shirt, but their Walmart added their markup. If you bought the T-shirt directly from from the manufacturer, it'd be a lot cheaper. But it's, I don't. I just Walmart as an example. How about like, uh, you go to. Um, <laughs> I don't know. eBay. eBay. You buy something from eBay that was marked up that you could have gotten cheaper someplace else, so, but. <laughs> Boy, come on. Walmart. <laughs> anyway. Um, where was I? Tears. So. Tears, I don't know. A lot, like I said, a lot is pro, not that big a deal. I'll try to do some, I'll play with it and see what I can do to get it back, but so the only perks are like lower der derived fees and all that stuff. I don't know if it'll affect your placement in the catalog at all. Um, some metrics, I think, yes, yes, I lost pro. I've had pro for so many years. I mean, basically since I started, but what it really, I was really pissed off because I lost the old pro badge, the, the master content creator badge. They took that away too, and that's something that I earned before the tiers even came about. Like, you made pro before tiers were here. That's what the badge says, and it's freaking gone. So, that pissed me off. And I was, I sent a few uh, help tickets, and I got the canned responses saying, you didn't. You don't have the pro badge because you're not pro. I'm like, that's not what I'm saying. The old pro, the the, the master content creator badge, the one that the little M on it with the circle has a little. I've had that when when the tears came about because I get tears. So uh, who's what's that? What's the name? The one girl in the the new creator person. Anyway, she's looking into it, to, I guess, so, what else? Oh yeah, right, 
Yeah, new rep. I uh, rep, rep, rep K. I don't know. I have. I haven't been in the farm. I gotta look for name. R Riggs, Riggs K, Riggs K, K. Yeah, do you know? You know what I'm talking about? I had an email. I think I deleted it. Riggs K. Riggs K? R I G S K. Yeah. Seems nice. Seems very um, proactive. He? She? That is a she. Thinks that the avatar says she, so I'm gonna go with she. Yes. Unisex. Hmm. <laughs> um, okay, point number two. Oh, we finished tears. You got a little bit. Let's see, what do you got? You got products, you got sales. See, I maxed out on sales. Max out on products in the catalog. I can really go to the web page here. Tears. Up to 30. Products sold. Oh, okay. So products sold. Now I have a five. Actually, I could probably put this up so you guys can see it because that's not. I don't really care if you guys see this or not, but let me put this so you can see this. So, new mutton. I didn't put anything up last month. Nothing at all. So I got no points for that. But products sold five. I only. Well, hello, Mr. JD. How are you doing? Anyway, I see we got so five points there. Derive sales. Ten points. But let's see, your income. So even though my sales, I only get 10 points, my income is 30. I guess it's just based on what you, how much you mark up your products and maybe I mark them up higher than everybody else. I don't know, I used to do 300 for everything. That's, that's old school now, I guess, but um, products you purchased. I purchased 19 and I still got zero points. Not that I, I'm not a huge shopper. I don't know, like, if you buy like a hundred something products a, a month. Hmm. This stuff. The bonus. So wait, let me see. Bonus stuff. Maximum points. Greater. In-store purchases. So this is. They want you to spend money. Gifting. See, that would. I would hope. I don't know. I could try. I'm not sure. What I don't like is the new new texture in animation submissions count as one. Like these are two totally different things. Like meshing and animation kind of go hand in hand and texturing is like a totally different animal. They should be all three separate. That's just my opinion. I mean, obviously I'm I, I'm kind of uh, biased because I'm an animator and that's what I do. So I don't know. I would like for that to be. New mesh, drivable and in undrivable. It's, I don't know.
Yeah, two products in there. I had a lot more the month before, but I counted one for each. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, it's not exactly clear. So, well, it's enough about tears, I guess. Another thing I noticed today, actually, because I just made this new set pose set. I don't think it's passed yet. It was a request. So I always had I had a uh, I had a um, an iframe that I always put on the bottom of my product pages, like every single one, and it just has like it has your uh, code in there, yeah, for like most popular products. I noticed today, because it was there yesterday, that it's gone. Like, either they decided to remove iframes from product pages, or there's a, a glitch in the system. Oh, Liana, level zero. That's not good. Hmm. Okay, so this, this is just a few glitches with the product pages in general. Now, they've been messing with something, and they're messing crap up. That's what's going on here, I see. Oh, we got a help article. We gotta read it. See what it says. So, well, hey, JD, we're doing IMVU stuff today. Well, that's pretty much all my stuff. But they just updated a bunch of stuff on the website. They changed the way creators get rated. And recently we were talking about a glitch on the product pages. So, like, with this, with all the products for sale, you can add an HTML description, which... Where are the, I, I gave away all the million credits. Gaff. Remember, I, I bought a bunch of Christmas stuff. I'll probably do that again this year. I'm actually starting to fill the uh, fill the drum back up. Anyway, I'm starting to fill the drum back up so, so I can have the credits to do the Christmas thing again. Because that was actually a lot of fun. And I actually have an idea. Yeah, it was the big stand. I actually have an idea this year. Um, so last year I just kind of picked content creators who weren't pro, and uh, and just picked something that was high quality from their from their catalogs. This year I'm going to let people. Oh, you bought your product page, I think. That's not good. But this year I'm going to um, let people vote. For uh, uh, content creators to add their to the uh, collection for the Christmas gifts, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do, and then we'll do a, a 12 day thing again. Pending, nothing insane happens around Christmas time this year, if you know what I mean. No, but yeah, Liana just. Uh, I think a lot of this stuff is still kind of like 
being worked on, so don't don't go crazy. Might we have no code by then? Yes, that would be nice, but people be itching to get out. I have not been to Six Flags at all this year because it hasn't been opened yet. Do you know how many times I've been to Six Flags by this time of the year? At least 20 or 30 times because I got a season pass. No season pass this year. This is very discouraging. I'm not, not getting out like I usually do. So, anyway, enough about this. It's already already 40 minutes into the broadcast, so I think I started 20. So when we're 20 minutes into the broadcast, we're talking about this stuff. We're actually here to do some work. And I got some lovely music in the background. Uh, oh, Disney? I don't know. I've been to Disney quite a couple times and Six Flags like a million times. I would say Six Flags is more affordable than Disney. Disney has all the magic of all the Disney characters that you love as a child, but Six Flags just has rides and Warner Brother characters. So I, it's a it's personal preference. Some people love Disney. Some people love the roller coasters. Like I like Cedar Fair too. Cedar Fair has uh, got a bunch of a few theme parks in the area, not as many as Six Flags, but their roller coasters rock, and they're too far away for me to drive frequently. Three. Right. Yes, I took JD to Six Flags last year. That was fun. Alright, I need to put on the So, here's our avatar. Today, yeah, Disney's for kids, Six Flags is for adults. Today, we were going to do um, some more animation. I better save this before I go crazy. do something real simple we're just gonna do some bouncing balls and I'm gonna do it as an accessory I don't usually do accessories with the with the accessory root with the accessory node I usually just skin my accessories directly to the skeleton because then I have more um, I have more uh, what's the word ability I guess to to add more things to the to the product instead of just having the accessory with with just the plain ex uh, accessory of the sunglasses or whatever derived from the sunglasses you're um, limited to just having the accessory attached to the avatar but you can attach what three accessories per uh, bone or something like that if that hasn't changed um, when I skin the accessory directly to an avatar bone and then um, derive it from an empty from a, the empty uh, the empty clothing item, then I can add the animation to it too. So then you can add uh, some more dynamic dynamics to the actual product. So yeah, no skeleton animation like. Um, so if you're a baseball bat, if you use the accessory file, the bat is just attached to wherever it is. If you use the um, the general pose master file, you can add an animation where the avatar swings the bat too. But. So, but we're just do a bouncy ball, and I'm gonna just have it attached to the root node, and probably just bounce it off the head because why not? First thing, we need to make a freaking circle. 
Let's do from the top. Don't need so many segments. Twelve is enough. The question is, how big of a ball should I make? Big ball. Make it little. Er. Now, one of the first things they teach you in animation school is squash and stretch. So, to make this ball look like it's actually bouncing, it needs to be squashed and stretched. So we're gonna make a copy of the ball. Probably just make this the baseball act base ball. All right, so we're going to use this tool and we're going to squash it. Now you notice that I didn't just squash it, I squashed it and spread it out because if you notice the volume of the ball when it hits a surface, it needs to remain constant and it can't remain constant if you're not dispersing the mass of the ball, if that makes sense. No. Gotta do it this way. It's gotta be bigger all around. Squishy and squashing. Yep. <laughs> so, and then when the ball is released from its bounce, it also squashes. Like the energy gets snapped up. So. Yes, I know most people assume more facial, but I'm doing actual morphing here. So, let's see here, so if I make this, I label this ball, which one do I label ball, this one? Ball squash. And 
this is just a ball. Um, for IMVU, you have to label these. Let's label dot exclusive. So they are read by their morph animation reader thing. I used to have... Uh, I had a, a, a well, my ex-husband's old boss um, taught 3D Studio Max in college and she had a couple copies so I had the 2008 from her I might still have it I saved somewhere on my computer I upgraded since then but but I know you can't buy them anymore all right I need to pop into into the learning center here. Animation, 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 morph, 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 targets, wait, morph, targets, morph, building ahead. Yeah, okay, so here's Oh, it doesn't? Q Q Q. Um, all right, so these are the morph targets. I usually use exclusive. Together, clamp allows multiple more side effect channel, but clamps some their percent. Multiple more side effect channel averages result. No cap of the value. So, I guess we'll we're gonna we'll try the different ones, but I usually stick with exclusive because uh, for some reason. Might be just really old client because I'm kind of old school. It just didn't work out so good. But so here's the ball. I need to make another version where it's down here and call it ball drop. Okay. Sit. Here's our ball. We're going to add our morph morpher to it, and we're going to pick an object from the scene. Pick pick you. I want to pick you. Okay, maybe not. You. Oh, come on. Pick object from C. Well, let me pick you. I'm gonna pick you. I'm gonna pick you. What do I do? Capture. Yeah. Hmm. Confused, this has worked in the past. Let's pick.
Let's try this again. More burn. And they tried it. Okay, I worked that time. It has to be an editable poly. It has to be an editable poly. Otherwise you can't pick it. So just you can't pick a simple object. Good to know. I guess I never really tried it that way. So we got that's the trap. And now we want to squash. And now we want the squish. And all these things need to be linked together. Okay. And we're starting over because you have to link them first. Son of a gun. Okay. Linked. Link, link, linked. Okay. Morpher. Isn't this fun, guys? If I would have done a test run before I did this, I would have hammered all of this out already and we wouldn't be doing this again. But that's the beauty of doing everything live, is you get to see all the mistakes as they happen and shit being figured out. As you go. Let's try this again. One. We're gonna hide these. We don't need to see that crap. We're going to reset the X-Form and try this again. I'm just gonna start with the one and make sure it works this time before I go crazy. It should work this time. It better work this time. Model. Okay, so now I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I need to delete these. Actually, let's see. Undelete those. It's understandable why they would shift their support to Blender because Blender is a free program and they get a lot more uh, creators into iView using Blender, which is free. So, I mean, 
if they can get Blender to work well, I might actually consider learning it, but... Um, I don't know why I'm having issues here. This is kind of driving me a little bonkers here. Okay, that works. There we go. There we go. That took an hour, huh? So this one needs the squash and this is the stretch. Alright, we should be ball. See how I get this works. We're gonna make the ball drop. Okay. Now, 
it is bouncing, but howdy. I'll go with it. Can people hear you? Yes. Yeah. Why you want to talk to? Them? No. Finished. Yeah. You want to show everyone your leg? No. Uh -huh. Why not? Because you're only saying that just to get more followers. I'm Ooh. not going to get more followers by asking people to look, by asking you to show off your leg. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I do that. That's weird. So next time you come out, maybe you can take a peek. I will. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Chase is officially taller than me. I'm well aware of his hugeness. Hi, Evan. Hi. How's it going, Evan? It's good. Do you want to be in the camera, too? It's so slow. Huh? It's so slow. Whenever I move, it just... What's slow? 
like the camera though, like whenever I move. Well, you look at this camera right here. People are watching. How many people are people watching this? Yes. Here, look right here, right there. See? Yeah. Right now, there's three people watching. Only two in chat. Gav and Liana. Okay. So this is this is live, and this is being sent out to the internet. Okay. So here. You want to you want to say hi to everybody? I'll put you in full screen. Yes, here. See, your the camera's here. So you can wave there. And then see the delay. Yes. You can see yourself wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? They said he had to smile. Yes. He's my little clone. No. I'm yes, not. you are my little clone. You are my little kid. No. I cloned you from a tu test tube. No. I did. No. I made you in, in a tube. And I brought you to this world. You are not mine. <laughs> I'm trying to bounce some balls. You like bouncy balls? Bouncy balls? About the balls. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I modeled them in 3D and then I uh, 3D printed them. Are you leaving now? Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goofy kid. You're goofy. <laughs> Nobody. They can't see the door in the camera. The door is not in the camera. Okay. So if you sneak in through the door, no one's gonna see you. Bounce the ball. The boo. Bounce the ball. Am I trying to mount bounce the ball? Bounce bouncy ball. Are you making a human bounce ball? A human bouncy ball. Well, like a, making the person bounce a ball. Like, like put it in your hand and then you do you make them bounce. It goes inside. It goes inside the ground. What goes inside the ground? The bouncy ball. I know. I'm adjusting the bouncy ball. I'm playing with all the little liney things to make it look better. She if said, that makes sense. She said kids are adorable. Some kids are adorable. Some kids are annoying. Not you. You're cute. That's well. Now you're annoying. Good job. Oops. No. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Relax. <laughs> Whoa! Careful there, child. There's three people watching, but one cannot talk. Who can't talk? Like you said, one that. Ah, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna delete it. You don't need that. Ah, oh, I deleted something I shouldn't have deleted. What did I delete? Um. Is it hard to make an animation? I don't know. A little bit. Maybe. Uh -huh. Sometimes. Some people find it difficult. Some people don't. Some people have a natural talent to it.
Bye again. Alright, let's see if that looks natural. I think it looks natural. A natural balance. I could make it slower. Oh, well, there's a little jitter right here that bothers me. I'm gonna fix it. P. Where is it? See what happens when I stretch this out and I'll uh, look at it again. Make it set 30 frames. I'm gonna make it 40 frames and see if it goes too slow. I'm live. live. I'm live. Yeah. I'm on Twitch right now. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. And I'm just making a bouncy ball. <laughs> I can call you back. How long, Bye. Does, how long will the stream be? You want string cheese? What? No, how long? <laughs> how long would a stream be? <laughs> string cheese. No. I don't know. I'm almost done. I was just trying to do some morph animation, and I made a bouncy ball, and and the ball is bouncing. I think I think that's a win. A win win a win win win. I can wing 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 wing. It looks like it's bouncing. I should save that. Save your work often. I always keep saying that. So, all right. So, we want to make this bouncing off her head. Gotta move this sucker up here. And then we're gonna attach it to the attachment node. We're gonna skin it to the attachment node. Skin, 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 skin. King, 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 select, all right, now let's going to play this again, oh, I forgot, I forgot, that's the top part, not the bottom part, why is, why is the ball, why is the ball what, inside of the, you asked too many questions, Too many questions. All right. Skin. It is not a part of the actual skeleton. It is 
um, a separate bone system. It's just two bones. It's the root, attachment root, and the attachment node. Attachment poop. Aw, oh, come on. So my gun. What did I do? I did something. Oh, I know what I did. I added... Let's back up, back up, back up, back up, back... Did I fix it? Okay, so the problem with having the auto key on is when I moved the ball, it keyed the ball's movement. Turn that off. But anyway, so you got the two bones, the attachment and the attachment node, and you align them to whatever bone that you want your, um, whatever bone that you want your accessory to be attached to. And then when you go into IMVU, drive your product, accessory. When you go into IMVU, you go into the configure and you put whatever node you plan, you want the accessory to attach to. It should be the same node that you have it aligned with in Max. So right now this is aligned with the head. The head. No. Head. No. Head. No. It's, it's the head. See? Wait, now that's hair. One head. Give me the head. So this bone is the head. Head. See? It says head. Head. No, I'm actually doing an atta uh, accessory attachment. So it's a head. So if I want the ball to bounce... Well, let's see here. First, listen. Let's skin this. Let's get this damn thing skinned. I, did I skin it? Is it skinned? Auto keys off, so I'm not gonna accidentally key this sucker. Oops. Cram, cram. Alright, Paul. Move your butt up here. Okay, good. Skinned, skinned to, I didn't add it yet, attachment node, select. Okay, so now it's skinned to this node. So it should, oh, come on. Mother. Mother! Start over. Skin, 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 skin. Skin. Add. Load. Select. Play. Here we go. Okay, it's bouncing off our friggin' head. It's off her head. Now. Now. If I want it to bounce off in any other body part, I would just align the root with whatever body part I want to align it to. So let's go with a wrist here. Uh, left wrist. LF wrist. Uh, line. Wrist. You want orientation, all that jazz. Apply. Okay. And interesting. It's not actually aligned at the wrist. Let's try this again. Align. Wrist. Oh, we need those click too. Three. Three. 
Dee, dee, dee. So we got glasses and ball. Now attach the wrist. Finger is moving because that's how the stupid file is animated. I don't know why I didn't animate that. Here, I'll delete that. Watch. Delete. There. Now it should stop moving. Nope, nope, still moving. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Go away. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> Anywho. That's because the avatar is doing weird stuff, but... Let's attach it to something else here. Let's attach it to her foot. Mine. I don't know which foot I got. Which one do we get? Position, 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 jack, jack, uh, orientation, orientation. Okay. Alright, so where's the ball? Which way is it going to face? That way. Right, I'm not exporting any animation files from the avatar animation, so it won't matter. The only thing I'm going to export is this ball, but first things first, it needs a texture. Otherwise it won't work. There's no textures on it. So we'll have a new one. New. Standard. Bitmap. I don't have anything ready. I'll grab a texture from my texture folder. Just something random. What should I pick? Toast. It's gonna be toast. I'll change it later. Ball. I think you still need to add the zeros and ones and stuff, otherwise it won't work. And client either. Oh, one more thing. We want this to be visible. Let's see what the toast looks like. I don't even know. Toast ball. It's got some butter on it. Interesting. Looks like a pile of poop. <laughs> Anywho, so like I can move this anywhere at this point. Right now it's already skinned to the, 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 the node and I can export it and it'll still work fine in client. Uh, that's generally, generally. Um. I suppose I'll add the texture to these as well, just to be on the safe side. Not 
No, it really looks like poo. Poo on her head. Play. Oh, you gotta go, Liana. Thanks for visiting. I'll see you soon. I watched a little bit of your uh, IMV, uh, your RuneScape videos. Sorry, I missed them. Uh, okay, so we're gonna export this all. Well, hello, Luke Smith, 76. How nice for you to stop by. I usually do stuff on Wednesdays. I, uh, summer is kind of hit and miss. Winter is a little more frequent. But I figure, you know, it's kind of fun to work and chitty chat with whoever's in playing around with me. So, wait a minute, bouncy ball. Ball? What I hit with? Bouncing balls. Oh, I was gonna do two balls. Maybe, maybe, maybe next time. Let's do the one ball. So, I'm exporting the mesh. We're gonna do this as a mesh file. X M F. Ball. Hmm. Thing of note. If you're going to attachment node. If you don't already have the attachment node to bone thing exported, you should export that first. But I have that. XFS. So it's got to export all the yeah four balls. All right, moment of truth. It's already set the head. Let's add the mesh. Accessories. Ball. Ball. Oh, it's still attached to the foot. Okay. Let's see, you really should put it where you want to export it. Line that back with the head. Align. Because that's what I want. Head. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, show that again. Yeah, I gotta export the uh, the animation file. And yes, I I've been doing IMVU since 2006. Gaff in chat has also been doing this since. Uh, actually, Gaff, I've been doing this about one month longer than you have. So I am I'm already a senior, but you know what I mean. I'm more experienced than you are, but you're smarter than me, I think. <laughs> you do all the coding stuff. <coughs> Don't inhale your soda. <coughs> Goodness. <coughs> that can is empty. <coughs> I'm good. I'm good. Let's export this again. Export. Mesh file ball. Yes. Ugh. <clears throat> Attachment. <sighs> Next. Whew. Made me sweaty. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Ball. Import. Open. 
Hey, look, it's floating above her head. It's got the, the uh, glass texture on it, which is fine. <clears throat> Let's export the mesh animation and see how that goes. Morph animation. Mesh file, I'll change it to morph animation, so bounce. We'll just label it bounce. Bounce, bounce. <clears throat> Start frame, end frame, displacement, everything looks good. Actions. <coughs> now I could add a trigger to this, or I could use the stance.idle, but I'm gonna start with the trigger. Hopefully this works, because I am viewed as a finicky beast. Apply changes and put. Oh, it's bouncing on her head! Yeah. It has a weird pause. I actually. <coughs> instead of going back into the file and removing that pause, I'm going to make this loop from. Oops from 0 to 19 frames so we don't get that pause at the top there. I wonder if I set it to 18. If that would look more natural. <clears throat> Yes. Yes. Don't you just... 11 works first time. Um, I do IMVU for both fun and money. I, I don't... <clears throat> still coughing up soda. I don't make a living living off of this. I mean, I could if I worked at it full time, I'm pretty sure. But, and there are plenty of people who do. Like if you go through, um, a lot of hair meshers do really, really, really well. Clothing, people have lots of clothing, do really, really well. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, it's, it's um, work for yourself type work, which is nice. Work your own hours. If you find yourself a nice niche, I find that you can do pretty well. <clears throat> yes, every time you buy, well, okay. Yeah, I see. <clears throat> so basically, if you, you, um, if you start with texture uh, products, you just take like what I made here, I made this mesh and I animated stuff and you could take this ball and you could make it sparkly purple if you want to and then you can put it in your catalog <clears throat> and then you add your own profit to it and then so every time you make a sale you get that profit. Um, so I mean the lower your profit the more sales you will likely make, the higher your profit the less sales you will likely make but you'll make more money per sale. And I find that <clears throat> the cheaper your product prices are, the more promo credits you get. <coughs> um, promo credits are things you can use towards making more products and uh, shout outs and stuff, but they don't really have a whole lot of purpose. They just, just makes, your, makes it easier to make more stuff, but um, Regular credits are credits that people buy through IMVU. When you get a credit, you can either keep the credits or you can convert it to cash. Well, you have to set your slider to, to cash your credits, but you earn whatever whatever you choose. You can use yeah, 50, 50 cash, 50, 50 credits, all cash, all credits, whatever. <clears throat> and IMVU will, uh, and you can, you know, I, the money will go in your account and then you can withdraw it like once or twice a month based on the amount of money you make. Anyway, there's a bunch of rules when it comes to taking cash out. <clears throat> yeah. 
Um, but yeah, promo credits are definitely like, it's like the, uh, the the crack that gets you started on the program. They're like, here's your little teaser, you know, here's, here's a few credits we want to give you for free. Now, so developers like us, creators like us can't use those credits because they were free, they were never paid for, but it gives people a taste of the program and they can only get so many promo credits and once you spend your promo credits you can actually gotta spend some money and then once you spend the money that's when we that's when we get the money so but uh as a creator you only get 40 percent the uh retail value of the credit so like i think a thousand credits is worth a dollar so if you get a thousand credits you only get 40 cents now because the payments are so small, it's like micro payments. It, if you get, I mean, you get a lot of, lot of sales. It really starts to add up. So, <clears throat> micro payments. A lot of, there's a lot of programs that do the same thing. I believe. I don't know. Um, find a different texture. <coughs> oh, this one's got some gold in it. I don't need this. And I don't like that texture. I'll just go in and put a regular texture in at some point, but I just wanted to play around and see what it looks like. Ooh, see now it's got a floaty ball thing going on there. Ooh, 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 I can make this addictive, add, 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 add it, it, and it, it disappears. Oh, never mind. Do it blending off. Just make it normal. Oh, the eye? You want me to put the eyeball in there? Like, the snake eye? <laughs> it, it stretches funny. I'll put the eyeball on there. Is that like a regular eye? I got other textures in different folders. This is just like... Let me go check a different texture folder. I do have an eyeball. I think I made eyes at one point in time, way back in the day. <clears throat> They're really terrible, but I did make them. That's really stretched out. <laughs> I didn't actually unwrap this ball. <clears throat> it's just the base unwrappings from the actual file, but there you go. It's a fancy buy ball now. Um, so now if I go and I move this to a different node, um, like We'll do her leg here. RT thigh is what it's called. <clears throat> RT thigh. It's way down there. Let's see what happens. Kind of weird. I'm gonna put this back on the head, I think. Was head capitalized? I don't remember. Yes, it is. <clears throat> okay, and now we're gonna try to make this run automatically. So, stance.idle. There. So now it just will run on its own. You don't need a trigger word. Boom. <clears throat> Alright, 
I think I'm done. I'm gonna play with this and throw out some products. Uh, very nice of you to stop by, Luke. I hope you get into this enveloping. It's it's kind of fun. I mean, it's a good creative outlet, and if you get really good at it, you could you could make some you can make some bank if you get good at it and you put some hard work into it. But at the same time, it costs bank to get started. So. <clears throat> If you think you can do it, go for it. Start small though. There's a bit of a learning curve. Mm. Especially since they keep changing things. Oh, Gaff. So, so I just had a birthday, right? Back on the 18th of June. Next year, I'm turning 40 years old. 40. You're just a young stud. I'm this old 40-year-old lady. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully next week. Uh, maybe I'll see you on Saturday. I'll have to talk to the children's because Chase is um... <laughs> Chase is itching for some uh, getting out of the house time stuff but maybe I can get him the joinage. Probably use my same old um... the same old room that I always use because I don't got any other rooms. I just got that one. I was talking to, to Joe the other day about uh, New Vera Online, which I really miss. They were so cool. And I made a bunch of stuff for them. I made, like, I did their default animations for their avatars, and I did, like, a bunch of clothing and hair, and, and, uh, and I made a bunch of rooms. That's where, like, the, the, um, the drive-in theater came from, was the New Vera, like I started there. I was, like, really getting into them, and I didn't do any... I didn't do anything for IMVU for that time because I was like all into New Vera and then they closed it down. It was very sad. I wish they would have. <clears throat> I wish they would have uh, fixed what they need to fix, but. Their, I think their downfall was their lack of, of uh, customization for their avatars. They kept on working on other projects and the avatars, like, you can only way you could customize the avatar was through skins and hairs and clothing, but like you couldn't change the facial features at all. They made it so you can change the height and stuff, but like the diversity wasn't there. So it was a really cool program, and they were allowing adult stuff, like like adult adult, like X rated. Like they could, if they really got that stuff figured out, they probably could have made a lot of money because there's plenty of people in IMVU would love to do some X rated stuff, as you know. <laughs> Yeah, the phone app is definitely the way to go, but they uh, need to, I don't know, like having it as two separate elements. The phone app and the, 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 the web client don't need to be the same thing, you know? Like they can have, I don't know. I don't know, like I guess they, what, they did, they started with there and then they dropped there because they want to focus on IVU. So you don't know, like at one point in time, they could just completely drop the web client, you know, and it'd just be all mobile stuff, but, oh, we'll see where they're going with that, but. <clears throat> I suppose I gotta make the children dinners because the little one's hungry, but. Yeah. Anyway, see you around, Gaff. You enjoy your day. I hope it does. I hope it warms up for you as I hope it cools down for me because it's just been unbearably hot. So I live pretty darn close to Canada. It's not supposed to be hot this time of year. Aw, oh, thanks, Gaff. Once the summer's over, things will get a little more stable, I guess. Maybe if COVID isn't weird, but you know what I mean. So. Hugs to you.
And I see that uh, Luke is gone, but that's okay. Oh, hey, come here. <clears throat> I'm saying goodbye. You want to say goodbye? Okay. The camera's here. You gotta. Hmm? You want to say goodbye? Or you're just gonna dance around and be weird. Everyone can see your butt now. <laughs> Alright. Are you done with the story? Yes, I'm I'm ending it now. So okay, bye. Yeah, wave, Evan. Wave.